All right. Hey, welcome everyone. Again, Chris Petrie here. Thanks so much for uh, joining along with us here on our watercolor journey. Um, I just wanted to say that we're doing some more figure work. We're always trying to incorporate more in, uh, figure work into our um, format here on my channel. I know everyone wants to do more figure work. A lot of times, a lot of people shy away from figure work from the human form. It's a little challenging. It's a little difficult sometimes, especially if we're not doing it on a regular basis. So I want to try to get everyone in the habit. If you do are interested in the human form and doing the figure and watercolor, please join along with us here on these videos. And we're just going to work these into the normal repertoire that we do on my channel anyway. So I'm always doing the same videos you'll always be uh, used to on my channel with boats and seascapes and landscapes and city scenes and uh, you know, all the other paintings that we do, uh, still life and flowers and things like that. So I'm really happy that you're here with me joining along. So this here is going to be a foam. We're going to do just like a, a real simple drummer type, uh, style, um, uh, ink, uh, painting. We'll do a first, a, a pencil, uh, sketch of this, uh, figure. And then we're just going to go over with a, um, ink, uh, painting over the top with a, a small, uh, brush here. This is our number nine Simply Simmons uh, watercolor brush, which is a th synthetic brush. And we'll just use a little bit of ink and we'll just kind of paint in uh, the uh, figure as we go. And we've already, we'll, we'll sketch it out. We'll show you how we sketch everything out. Then when you're done, you can always erase the pencil lines if you want to. So, and this is really uh, top quality ink. I explained to you all of the ingredients that we're going to use here, all the supplies, the ink, stuff you know stuff like that so but um we're gonna have a fun time doing it and uh hopefully uh you're excited and we're gonna get started so let's get our pencils our brushes ready our ink and uh, i'll get us started here with our pencil drawing first okay all right we'll be right back all right you just saw the finished painting we're gonna get started here we're gonna do just a fun interesting ink style painting uh, and watercolor to kind of uh, get ourselves familiar with the figure, the human form, a little more fun, a little more uh, of just a composition to kind of get ourselves, you know, in the swing of things with figures. I know some of you maybe shy away from doing figures. Don't worry about it. Work along with us here. We're going to have a fun time. So the first thing we'll do is we're just going to start out with a simple, um, we're going to talk about how if you draw the head, the human head, the human form is eight head lengths in height. So as long as you start out with your head length at a decent size, you should be able to fit that into your um, your rectangle that you're working within. So if we have our rectangle here that we're working within, like this, okay, for working within this rectangle here, and this is more or less like a square almost, if we want to fit in the whole figure, we just have to remember we have to have eight head lengths. And I can tell you right now, I've made this head a little bit too large. So I'm going to erase that and just um, remember that I need to start out with a smaller head there. Like that. That's going to be a little bit better, more realistically. That's going to be able to be eight head lengths down to the bottom where I'll have enough room. And let's see if I'm correct. Let's take a look. We'll just take a simple ruler. You could take a ruler and say... How tall is my head? 1.5 centimeters, or if we use the standard uh, measurement, half inch. So I should have four inches to the bottom. That would be my feet, which is half inch per head length. One is half, one inch, inch and a half, two, two and a half, three inches, three and a half inches, four inches. That equals eight head lengths. So if you can imagine, all you have to do is start with your first head length, and then you just have to make sure you have eight more of those same size head lengths down to the bottom of your figure. And I just measure that in inches right now because it's a little easier in inches. If I say each head length is uh, half of an inch, then we go half inch, one inch, inch and a half, two inches, three, two and a half inches, three inches, three and a half inches, four inches. And if you count up the head lengths, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Look at that. Wow. It's as simple as that. So that's the, that's the main thing when you're doing the figure and you're uh, drawing and painting the figure. Just try to remember you have eight head lengths approximately. It's seven and a half. Some people will say seven and a half. Some people say eight. But, you know, let's not squibble uh, or I should say uh, uh, quibble about that. Let's just remember 
<clears throat> about seven and a half to eight inches of head lengths is the human form in the height. Now we're going to do a fun, interesting um, uh, drummer. So this is going to be like a marching band drummer or a um, someone that is uh, interested in, in drumming here. So we're going to have the hat. So we're going to do some fun hat headdressing here and then um, <clears throat> we'll have the headdressing there a nice hat straw hat and then we're going to do the back and then the back of the figure here and the arms and the arms come down here one, two, three, four, and the arms, yes, they're about the uh, waist height. So we have the arms at waist height, which is good. That's about where we want the arms to be. And then we're going to have the, um, we're going to go around the front here, and we'll have the collar. So we'll have the collar here. So I'm just going to kind of start to form out my figure here. And then we have the front of the figure here, and then we're going to have the drum over here like so and the drum is comes out like this and then the hands are up here so we have the hands and the arms up here and you'll see the hands over here and the drum goes out further and we have the sticks up here like that and then we have the, the straps that hold the drum there, like that. And then we have the glutus maximus over here and the legs that come down here and then they trail back over this way. And then we have the feet. So this is the left foot, or the right foot, I should say, the right foot here, and we will come up like this, and up like that, and then this left leg over here comes down, and it's out this way a little bit, and it comes in this way, and it's a little bit further in the distance, so it's further back from this foot here, so this other foot is over here, like that. And there we go. That's our drummer. And he is having a fun time here. And trust me, once we get our ink going here, we can have a fun time and we'll see that it all works out. It's going to all look fantastic as we um, work this uh, ink and wash, or this ink actually, ink uh, painting. We're going to kind of make sure everything works out good by... By painting it in just the way we want to. Okay, so we'll put a little bit of shadow here, a little bit of shadow there. All right, let's come back. So we got our pencil drawing done, and again, we just talked about how keeping our head lengths correct. You start off with a smaller head so that we make sure we can get eight head lengths down to the bottom of the feet of our figure. If we start with a really large head within this square, that means we'll be running off the page and we'll, we, we'll be losing the feet and the legs of our figure. So we want to make sure we squeeze everything in uh, just right. And uh, that's, the, that's the whole thing to planning out something like this. If you can make sure you plan ahead a little bit. Make sure you have that scale of remembering the head is... The fit human figure is eight head lengths. So whatever size you draw your head. And then you, remember, you can always use your ruler and scale it that way and say, okay, well, if this head is a half an inch tall, then I got to make sure I'm four inches down to the bottom of the feet because each half inch is one head length. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And that's it. And then you have it. All right, so let's come right back in just a second. We'll start painting in our uh, ink figure here and you'll see how much fun it is just to get some ink on the paper and we'll be right back. 
All right, so we have our ink here. And this is Sumi ink. We're going to get started. This is uh, Yasu Tomo Sumi ink. I use this a lot. I also use Speedball black ink. Uh, permanent ink. So this means once it dries, it's not going to reactivate. So you could paint any kind of ink um, washes onto your paper. And once it dries 100%, like overnight, or if you use a blow dryer and you blow dry it 100%, it's not going to reactivate. So you could paint over it with watercolor washes with colors and things like that. And it's not going to reactivate. It won't, you know, reactivate and smudge and all of that. So this is permanent, really good, high quality uh, ink. So if you buy the Yasutomo Sumi ink, or you buy the Speedball black ink, trust me, those will, they're permanent. They will not um, reactivate on you if you're going to do some additional washes on top of it. But in any case, let's go in here. I have just my simple um, number nine, Simply Simmons um, watercolor brush, which is a synthetic brush. I use this all the time on my channel. Probably many of you have seen it. And if it's your first time here, welcome. Thanks so much for coming by. I'm hoping you'll subscribe on the right hand side. If you haven't subscribed before to my channel, I always mention to everybody, please subscribe so you don't lose track of me. You can just keep working along with us. If you're interested in learning watercolor, more about doing ink and washes and ink uh, drawings and uh, paintings like this, please stick with me here. And if you want to see more type of things like this, let me know in the comments section. I can uh, certainly uh, up my game and do more ink style uh, paintings and things like this if you're really enjoying it tremendously. Um, but most of the time, I know everyone is really happy with the format we have here. We do everything watercolor, all types of subject matter. So we're doing flowers, landscapes, trees, city scenes, buildings, architecture, figure painting, portrait painting, flowers, still life, you know, things like this. We're doing everything watercolor. And so we're just going to continue right on doing it uh, here as we go. So first thing I do is I always grab a tissue like this and I have this with me. So just in case I want to check off a little bit of ink first and then go in and start working on my painting. I don't want to go in and flood the paper with too much ink. So that's the main thing I wanted to sort of impress upon everybody here as we go. And then the top of this straw hat has got some really... So I'm going to try to do this. You can see I'm doing that straw kind of feel. There we go. And then we'll do the head. And I'm just going to follow my... I'm going to follow my... My drawing... like that and I'll get some more ink and then dry off a little bit of the ink there so I don't want to have too much on there flooding out the drawing and there we go and then I'm just going to go right in and keep following the pattern that I created with the pencil lines and then I might move this over here a little bit and this way I can get a nice little, like that, for the uh, strap, for the drum here. So this figure is playing a drum, like that. And then we have arms here. And hands. And then our legs are over here and I kind of have a little bit of white paper between the two legs. And then we have our feet here. And as you can see, we've gone really quickly through this. 
This gives you some really fun work with your figures. I'll do a really, really light sketch for the, or, uh, you know, brush strokes for the, um, for the drumsticks. And then a little bit of shadowing here on the ground, just to give us some feeling that the figure is kind of anchored to the paper like that. Just a couple, something like this. And then you can see we have had a really fun time doing this and already we're working on our figures. We're working on the human form. <clears throat> we're having an enjoyable time of it. You can adjust your figure painting as you go. So sometimes you're going to sculpt it and say, oh, I need to add a little more there to the back. Or, oh, I might need a little more uh, to the um, front of the leg here and the knee. So you could kind of adjust as you go a little more to the foot there. So you can kind of adjust all of your creativity in your painting to how you're feeling and what you're kind of seeing as you're going. And that's really a positive. And I hope you enjoyed this one too. This is a fun way to get better with the uh, human form, with the figure. Um, thanks so much. I, again, I hope you'll subscribe. On the right-hand side below, there's the subscribe button. Just hit subscribe. doesn't uh, obligate you to anything at all. It doesn't cause any kind of issues with you getting emails or phone calls or text messages or any kind of crazy stuff that goes on with our uh, electronic devices these days. YouTube just says if you subscribe, they're just going to let you know when you open up YouTube the next time. You'll see my videos, you know, on your homepage when you open up YouTube. That's all it is. So it's nothing that's going to cause any headaches for you. It just keeps you in touch with me if you like my work and you want to keep following along with me as we go here on my channel. Uh, and again, I'm doing a lot of figure work um, recently, trying to bring more figure work to my channel because I know a lot of people want to do it. It's just a matter of everyone kind of sometimes shies away from figure work, just like I did too, and I'm working on it myself. So we're all together in this, you know, figure work isn't the easiest thing to do, but if we just work on it a little bit, all, you know, every once in a while, we'll just get better at it. So you're going to get better at figure painting just like I am, and we'll just keep work together and um, have a good time of it. So we'll see you next uh, time on my um, next video very, very soon. Uh, again, I'm always making videos every week. And um, so I hope you enjoy all the new content coming out on my channel. And um, we'll see you very soon. I hope you the best. I uh, hope for you the best um, with your watercolor paintings, with your drawings, with you, you know, working on the human form, the figure, as well as all the other content that we do on my channel. I'm hoping that you're having a good time of it, good success and uh, that you're enjoying the watercolor journey. So we'll see you soon. Okay, bye-bye.